Hello friends, welcome to Code Chef. This is Suraj, and in this video, let's discuss this problem prime XOR from starters 46. Now let's understand the problem statement. So here in this problem, we are given three distinct prime integers a, b, and c, and the values of a, b, and c will lie between 1 and 2 raised to power 30. And we define the positive integer x, y, and z as x is equals to a XOR b, y is equals to b XOR c, and z is equals to c XOR a where he's the, here this symbol denotes the XOR. Now here we are given only two integers x and y and we need to find out the values of a, b and c and we are also given one fact that out of this x, y and z at least one integer is odd. Okay, So it is given that at least one integer will be odd. And here we need to print the values of a, b and c in ascending order and it is also given that answer will always exist for all the valid inputs. So now let's see the input format. So here in the input, first of all, we'll have total number of test cases. Then for each and every test case, we'll have just one line and in each line we'll have two integer that is the value of x and y respectively. So here in this first test case, the value of x is 1 and the value of y is equals to 6. Then for each and every test case, we just need to print one line as an output and that line will have the values uh, of this a b and c in ascending order so we do not care about whether uh, a should come first or b should come first it, uh, the values of uh, this a b and c should be in ascending order so 2 3 and 5 and then 2 11 and 13 so you can see that now let's discuss the approach so here the uh, these this is given that x is a x or b y is b x or c and z is c x or a so from here if we take the XOR of LHS and RHS so we get X XOR with Y XOR with Z and that will be equal to RHS XOR so that is A XOR B then XOR with B XOR C and then XOR with C XOR A so let's write it A XOR B then XOR with B XOR C then XOR with C, then XOR with A. So here C XOR C will become 0. Then B XOR B will also become 0. And finally this A XOR with this A will become 0. So our RHS will become 0. So we know that XOR of X, Y and Z will come out to be 0. So now let's take XOR of X on both sides. So we get uh, XOR of X here. And similarly, XOR of X on this side also. So, XOR of X. So, what it will become is, this X will cancel this X. So, we get Y XOR with Z. That will be equal to, then 0 XOR with X. So, we get this result. Similarly, here we can get, we can write uh, Y XOR X. Y XOR X is equals to Z. And z xor with x is equals to y so we can write these three result so now here it is given that x y and z out of this at least one number must be odd so we know that if we do xor of odd number with another odd number so the last bit will cancel each other and we get an even number okay and if we take xor of even number with odd number so we get odd number so from here we can say that since this relation holds so we can say that exactly two numbers out of this x and y will be odd and one number will be even so exactly two number is odd and one number is even you can say that so now if this x is odd here then out of this two number a and b at least one number must be even because of this reason ah okay if x is odd then one number must be even and here it is given that three numbers are distinct prime so if a number is even uh, then we can say that only prime number which is even is two so at, from here we can conclude that at least one number that is uh, rather a is two or rather b is two Okay, if x is odd. So if if x is odd, then 
one number is two and other number will be equals to here let's uh, do this x is odd so we write x is equals to 2 xor with b let's say okay so if we xor with 2 on both sides so xor with 2 here also and here also then these two will cancel each other so we'll get b as b is equals to 2 xor with x so one number is 2 and another and other number will be simply x xor with 2 so if x is odd then one number is 2 and other number is simply x xor with 2 similarly if y is odd then one number will be 2 and another number will be simply y xor with uh, that value and here we know that exactly two number will be odd so we'll get two new, two new number when we xor uh, that odd number with 2 so from here uh, our solution will be simply first of all we'll assume that all the integers that is uh, the value of this a b and c all the values are 2 2 and 2 okay then we'll calculate uh, the value of z as this x xor with y and then we check if x is odd then we'll get another number as x xor if x is odd okay if x is odd then new number is x xor 2 okay similarly if y is odd then new number will be y xor 2 and if z is uh if z is odd then new number will be z xor with 2 okay so we'll replace that new uh, new number with the remaining uh with, uh, with these twos so our answer will be simply 2 okay 2 then two new numbers which we get from here i hope you understood logic to this problem but still if you have any doubt now you can use this uh, new feature in CodeChef that is CodeChef's doubt support. So let me just show you how you can use this new feature. So let's say you go to this practice section and uh, let's say I pick any problem. So let's let me pick this uh, age limit problem. Then here in this problem, let's say I'm stuck and I'm unable to understand this problem or you may uh, get any confusion. So what you can do here is you can go to this ask a doubt section and here you can chat with our experts. So let me start this new chat and here I'll ask a simple question. So let me ask. So here you can see that uh, my doubt is answered and similarly you can also ask your doubts in the doubt support and get the answers quickly. So this doubt support will be available 24 by 7. So you can ask any doubt re uh, regarding this problem and the experts will be there to answer your questions. Now let's see the solution in C++. So here in C++ first of all I'm accepting T the total number of test cases then I'm calling a solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all I'm accepting the value of x and y then here I'm calculating the value of z then first of all here I have initialized this answer array as 2 2 and 2 and then I'll, here I'll check one by one if x is odd then I'll replace the number at 0th index with x xor with 2 and if y is odd then I'll replace the number at uh, second index uh, at this first index with y xor 2 and similarly for z so uh, we know that exactly two number will, will be odd so out of this three twos two twos will be replaced with the new number so we can say that our answer will be stored in this answer array here with three distinct integers so that we can sort and finally we can print the numbers one by one so first of all i am printing the number at zeroth index the number at first index the number at second index here is the similar implementation in python so first of all i am accepting t the total number of test cases then i am calling solution function for each and every test case and in the solution function first of all i'm accepting the value of x and y then here i'm calculating the value of z which is simply x xor with y then here i've initialized this answer array as 
2 2 and 2 so all three elements are 2 then here i'm checking one by one if x is odd then i'll replace the element at zeroth index with new number that is x xor with 2 similarly for y and z so we know that exactly two number will be odd so out of this three twos two twos will be replaced with this new number so we can say that our answer will be finally uh, stored in this answer variable and all three integers will be unique as per, as per the given question so that we can sort and then finally we can print the numbers one by one so first of all i'm printing the smallest number which is at zeroth index then uh, number at first index then the largest number which is present at last index so i hope you understood the logic and its implementation in both c and python in case you have any doubt feel free to write in the comments so let's meet in another video thank you so much